feel like my chair is usually higher. What do you think? <laughs> That's the bent one. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Now we're at the same height. <laughs> I mean, Great. I'm all legs. I'm always actually a little bit shorter than you when I sit. Are you really? Yeah. No. Yeah. You think my torso is longer than your torso? Uh, definitely. No way my torso. I barely have a torso. Hold on. We gotta me- How do you measure torsos? How don't you measure tor- How about torsos? We, we gotta do ass to neck. Ready? Ass to neck? <laughs> yeah. All right. Ass to neck it Give is. Give me your ass. Okay. Ass to neck. <laughs> wait, you're, wait. My <laughs> ass is lined up. Your ass? You're taller. No, your torso your torso's higher by an inch. But your butt is at the not in the end. My my butt is hanging because it's one fat. inch. One inch. I got six inches on you. No no no. Normally. No 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 no. I got six inches your on you normally. Your torso is at least two, one to three inches longer than my torso. <laughs> That's pretty short compared to the rest of us. But it's still longer. Still longer. It's longer, so now we're making up for it. See how we're eye level? I've never seen you at this angle before. I hate it. Look at this. I hate it. Oh, you get so much I height on me. I love it. Oh, I feel I like gotta I'm... I got to sit up straight. I'm I gotta gonna teach fucking, you something. I got to do some link later before these now. Ha ha. Terrible. I'm going to teach you a thing or two. About what? Yeah? Your life. Oh, good. Here we go. Here we go. Let me tell you about the two baddest cats in town. They're here to talk about random shit. shit. Floating around. So grab yourself a drink, baby, if you please. Just shoot the breeze with chafe and cheese. Well, Jim, Jim, Jeru, and a ho hum too. Welcome to another rousing, riveting, rip roaring, rip torn, rip van winkle. Wow. Of an episode of Shooting the Breeze with Chafe and Cheese. I'm Chafe. I'm Cheese. And we're shooting the breeze today. Today, baby. Hey, guy. Hey, gal. What happened? Where you been? I gotta tell you. Where have we been? There's a reason why it was a soft opening. There's a reason why we're all absolutely exhausted. You did it. I did it. Well, you were a part of the, the folks that did. We, yes, I'm proud of you. For those of you who do not know, who do not care, who did not even notice, we missed a week. We, we were not here last Tuesday. We weren't. Why is that? I was kidnapped. You were kidnapped. You thought that we had forgotten about the bachelor party. Oh, yeah. But the most sacred, most most important ritual of being a man. I sure did. I uh, forgot. About losing your independence. And you know what? I was I, I had come to terms with it after our conversation a couple weeks ago. You thought that was it? I thought it was it. I thought it was over. I thought I was just going to show up to this party. Huh. Dance around like a you know like like the Jew that I am. Yeah. Move on with my life. Yeah. But no, Wednesday afternoon rolls around. Yeah. I'm in the middle of staring at Richard Jefferson's face, his bald ass head, <laughs> and you come strolling in. I just walked right into your abode with confetti, with jollies. streamers, with Jolly Showtime, Johnny Shaw. Shout out to Johnny Showtime. Shout out. And they say, we're going. And you said, everyone's in cahoots. You use the word cahoots. <laughs> I like the word cahoots. At least 33 times. Yeah. And uh, then you took me all the way up to Joshua Tree, where there were people from the East Coast. There were people from the West Coast. That's it. And immediately, booze was flowing. Yes. And uh, the pot was a, a smoking. The pot was a smoking. The booze was a flowing. And we were in the middle of the desert. Mm. It was gorgeous. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. You know what? There was a volleyball court. In the vicinity. What could be better? We had three bodies of water to, 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 to play around There in. was a jacuzzi, there was a cold tub, there was an even colder tub. It was a good old-fashioned sausage convention. It was fantastic. There was, was food, good times. booze, memories. What else do you need? I made French dip sandwiches. What else do you need? Slow roasted. What else do you need? Dangles his wings. Yes. His wings were insane. These wings. wings. I've never had... You know, we were nervous. We were nervous. I was nervous about the wings. I, the only he, the, the he reason why the, wings. the reason why I was nervous, yeah. he grilled the wings. Grilled the wings. And we're seeing, it's getting charred, bud. It's getting charred. And he goes, no, 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 it'll be fine. Yeah. 20 seconds later, he closes the lid, opens it back up. He goes, oh, shit, got to take the wings off. Yeah. Burnt to a fucking crisp. But you know fucking what? crisp, but. The char was the X factor of the whole fucking thing. And then tossed in a butter sauce with Frank's and Tabasco. And somehow... A hint of Tabasco. Frank's, Tabasco, garlic, salt, pepper. Garlic. Fresh, fresh garlic. A ton of fresh garlic. Oh, my land. And then you throw a little parm on top of that. Yeah. The combo was perfect. I don't know how he got the ratio down, but maybe maybe you just got to be Italian. Yeah. We got video of all of it. Check. Absolutely fantastic. Jimmy, throw up the wings Yeah, real quick, Jimmy, would you? you throw up the wings, please? But... My God, what a weekend. And yeah. then, so I started, I had my first shot at like 
1 p.m. on Wednesday. I Correct. had my last shot at like 1 a.m. on on Sunday. <laughs> Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Yeah. It just never stopped. The party was Saturday, yes. It was brutal. That was a long... That was a long... When you're in your 30s... That's not good. You can't do it, man. It's been... As of this recording, uh-huh. it's been five days after. <laughs> I barely have my voice back. No. Barely. You look terrible. I've been falling asleep at 9.30 every night. Oh. Uh, it's not enough. Yeah. Not enough sleep. Not enough sleep. There's not enough sleep in the world... No. ...that I could get. How's Steph doing? She's great. She's, She's sober, fine. sober the whole time, huh? She, I mean, she barely drinks, but you know, she didn't have four day a four day <laughs> bender in in Joshua Tree and and back in L.A. It was insane. Yeah, truly insane. I recommend getting mm. married before the baby and getting married in your twenties for this reason. Now that I know, yeah. Now that I know, you've been through it. I've been through it. I've had two weddings with to the same woman. I know. <laughs> I I know every inch of marriage. Yeah. Every inch of the wedding game. Do it in your twenties because you're the, those are the only people who can fucking wake up the next morning and, and put together a Sunday brunch. Jesus Christ. I'm I'm also I also had to put together the Sunday brunch. You were in charge. Well, I got the, I got <laughs> I got I had wonderful people attempting to help me who are in their seventies and me. And you So I'm fucking getting nice. I'm carrying chairs. I'm carrying You're tables. You're doing all the grunt work. I'm yeah. doing all the grunt work after a four-day bender. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Oh, dude. You know, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, yeah, what's the point? The kids. The yeah. married. That's where you're at, huh? Yeah, that's where I'm at. 33. I'm starting to, I'm starting to say fuck it. Fuck it to it all. Yeah. Just build a life for myself. Make sure I'm taken care of. Have enough in the bank for, for someone to wipe my ass when I'm 92. That's it. That's, That's all it. I really need. I mean, who needs kids? <clears throat> who needs them? Who needs? I mean, you look happy. Don't get me wrong. I am happy. But who needs them? I am happy. I'm yeah. tired. You're but very I'm happy. You're tired for the next eighteen years. I'm, I've been tired since the moment that kid was born. <laughs> Before he was born at five o two a.m. <laughs> Dude, I gotta tell you. Yeah. The food at your wedding. Yeah. It must have been great. It was good. Yeah, everybody was eating it. Who's the Kogi truck? Here's the problem. What's the problem? I came home that night. Yeah. I was I felt slim. I felt fit. I actually came home. I was like, I feel really good. I noticed I hadn't eaten all night. I danced my ass off for four hours. I didn't have time to eat a Kogi taco. How do you not eat? I've never had Kogi. I was very excited to have it was Kogi. Incredible. Didn't have Kogi. I had never had it either. I was very I took, ex- I took a fucking risk. Portos. You had Portos. What did you have? Kisses? Cookies? I had what cookies. Did you have? I had kisses. I had it all. You had a bunch of pastries. I love Portos. Big fan of Portos. Incredible. They have the best. Anyone who needs to f- frequent the bathroom in the Magnolia Village uh, Terrace area. Wherever. Magnolia Park. Yeah, that place. Go to Portos. Yeah. Their bathrooms, they smell like Willy Wonka's asshole. <laughs> it's delicious. Have you ever been in the Portos bathroom? No. It's a oh, tr- my God, dude. They have is to it have a chocolate a vent. wonderland? They have to have a vent going from like the actual <laughs> oven where all the magic is cooked into like the air vent of the men's bathroom. It's kind of brilliant. brilliant. It smells like oh my, like uh, the Keebler Elf's taint. It smells so good. It smells. I want. I go take a leak even when I don't have to because it smells delicious. Wow. Yeah. Rarely do I find any public restroom to be anywhere near tolerable to the nostrils. But you're telling me it smells like fucking cookies in it, there? For me, it's an attraction. Yeah? It's a feature, not a flaw. <laughs> you go to Porto. Most people go to Porto's for the pastries, <laughs> for the Cuban sandwiches. I go for, for the, the cakes. I go for, for the, the pies. <laughs> I go for the facilities. He goes for the facilities. Yes. Not to pee. Yeah. No, no, no. He could pee anywhere. No. To take a whiff. Of a bathroom. <sighs> You're a singular man. It's a magical thing they do. But anyway, they were at your wedding. I was. I did. I didn't have any of that. And the thing that I am most disappointed with myself about not even attempting to taste. What's that? Not even being around it. What? Shabby pretzels. They were right there. He's the uh, the owner, the proprietor, Adam Shappy Shapiro. He was also there. A guest on the show. He was there. He was looking. He's great. been a two, maybe three time guest on the show. <laughs> He had his pretzels in town. Yeah. 
They were there this all man, ready to go. This I, man has two two types of mustards that are triple the size of any pretzel pretzel mustard given in the world and you didn't you didn't, I even, didn't, even, you didn't I, even bother. I, I've been dying to try his pretzels They're for fantastic. years. I've been following closely on social media. I've been liking and sharing and didn't miss it. You just I was dancing. It. There were three. I still have like 50. You want I, one? <laughs> I was too busy shaking my ass to girls just want to have fun. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nope. Wait, wait, you nope. have some more in stock? Nope. Yeah, they're probably, you know, a little stale. But yeah. I'll throw them in the microwave. Yeah, they'll be good. You put a little sprinkle, a little water, a little salt. Oh, is that how you throw do it? Throw them in that's the how, microwave. That's how you, that's how you uh, let it plume? Throw a little water, a little salt. You put a little lid on it. You let it capture the steam. You let it steam. Yeah? You got a little bit. You got a lot of pretzel steam. Does it work? Does the same, same rules apply for a bagel? Yes, of course. Anything stale? Listen, with a bagel, this is what you do. You take a tape paper towel, you put, you dip it in water. You make a wet paper towel, you wrap the bagel in the paper towel, then you microwave. It steams, it moistens, it lubricates. It comes out fresh as the day it was born. Wow. Yeah. You're really teaching me stuff about that. But how did you not... There was so much food around here. I know. You. I was too busy dancing. Listen, I haven't danced in like two, three years. Me either. I haven't danced. Me either. Someone told me that it was a, that we weren't recovering from all the booze they were drinking. They were recovering from the most intense horror they've ever had in their lives. That was a good horror. It was a good horror. I didn't even want the horror. I didn't want the horror. It was up first too. I was. That's the horror is always first. Is it really the always first? The horror is always first. Because I, 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 there were a few people, Jews and Gentiles alike, who said that the, they were surprised the horror was first. The horror is always first. What world are we living in? I don't know. Maybe they get the crowd going with a couple songs, and then they go into a horror. No, no, no. We went fucking. Balls to the wall, yeah. horror right out uh, the way, right out the gate. Horror right out the yeah. And it was fascinating to see people be like, "I guess we're doing the horror." Holy shit! I haven't done this in two and a half years. Yeah. And it dude, I was slow. spinning. My legs were kicking. Oh yeah, it was yeah. wild. You go right back to the old country. It's pretty fantastic. I can't wait for you to see the video footage of your wedding. It was fun. It's it was fun. <laughs> it was fun. I was lifted in a chair for the first time since my bar mitzvah. Much more fun than my bar mitzvah day. You think so? Oh, definitely. More afraid at the bar mitzvah? Uh, more afraid, uh, uglier, you know. One and one the same. Yeah, the acne. You know, you were 13. What are you going to do? You just make it work. You got one tooth going this way. I have braces. Uh, an ear going that way. I have way. braces at my bar mitzvah. Yeah. I don't understand this. I'm going to go in a totally different direction now. <laughs> That's what we do. I don't understand how <laughs> God decided... Huh. You know when you're going to have your bar mitzvah? When, when you're, you're, you're your absolute ugliest. <laughs> Nobody's attractive when they're 13. No. Not a single person. Half the people in, in, our, in the Judaism yeah. are, have their braces. Uh -huh. They are 5'8 and, and, and gangly as fuck because they they're, they're halfway through puberty. Uh -huh. Their fucking pubes are coming out of their eyes. They're so hairy. They don't know what the fuck's pubes going on. Pubes out of the eyes. Yes. Pubes out of the pupils. Just insane. It's the yeah. dumbest practice in religion. Wow. Yeah. Breaking across the wire. Finally. It's broken. Good. And this is going to be a little late for you folks watching this because we recorded earlier, but it's breaking now. Uh -huh. Katanji Brown Jackson, Supreme Court nominee, is now Supreme Court confirmed, baby. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thank did God. It. Now, here's my thing. Here's One my positive gripe. thing. Go here's, on. Here's what I have to kvetch about. Oh, kvetch, please. You ready? In the spirit of Judaism. Uh, just like with like Joe Biden did with Kamala Harris. Did he need to announce that I'm going to pick a woman of color to fill this position? Couldn't he just <coughs> have do that yeah. and not say I'm going to be using race as my selective criteria? In order to fill this position? I agree. Doing the right thing, you have to publicize it, or people won't believe you did the right thing. But it's That's not the, the right you thing. In. You when you here's the thing. When I agree. You, when the you right thing is just to do it. publicize doing the right thing, that is the wrong thing. You should do the right thing and let everyone else publicize it for you. Yeah. And as long as you don't say dick about it. You're golden. But, in, but saying, I'm going to fill this vacancy with the first black woman. Yeah. Makes everybody else go, huh. Yeah, of course. Why don't you just say, I'm going to pick the best person for the job. And then lo and behold, it should be it her. It was a black woman. It was definitely a black woman. She was fantastic. From She's great. Jump. She's great. She's great. She's so qualified. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Correct. But yes. But saying, saying it that way and doing it that way, just like with the vice presidency, 
seems a little odd. Did he say that prior to picking Kamala? Yeah. He said, I'm going to pick a woman of color to be my running mate. He said, woman of color. That was a big thing during his campaign. You don't remember this? I mean, it was so long ago. He did the, the world same, has ended since then. So. He literally did the exact same thing with the Supreme Court dis- uh, choice that he did with his vice presidency. Interesting. Yeah. It's all, pol- it's all politics. It's all fucking ridiculous. But why not just do it? Why do you have to say, I'm going to use race and gender as my qualification to pick this person? Because he's You 7, are giving 000... ammo to the people who yes. are saying wokeism is racist. I agree. Because he's 7,000 years old and doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Joe Biden is not a good president. And he was as also a, the author a of hard, that crime bill. As a diehard Democrat, yes. he's not a good president. You're a diehard Democrat, you're yeah. saying? Yes. I'm a diehard liberal. I don't know if I'm a diehard Democrat. Okay. I know that I... Be careful with subscribing to a party. An idea, sure, but a party, fuck them, yeah, dude, because parties are made of people yeah, and people are corrupt. Know. I don't know anymore. It's corrupt. What I do know is I'm definitely not a Republican. <laughs> that I'm sure of. <laughs> that I'm sure of. Bravo. Your career in Hollywood continues. Yeah, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of careers in Hollywood, Elon Musk. Yeah. Did you hear what this guy did? Go on. He bought 9.4, 9.7, I don't know, shares of Twitter in one day. He just bought all, he became the majority shareholder of Twitter. In one day, he bought 9.4 shares. They had to put him so on the board. So he owns Twitter now? He bought 9.4% of it, of the stock that's on wow. the market. He just went in and bought it. And on the day he bought 10% of the shares, the stock price went up 30%. Now, this motherfucker, just by buying the stock, made $800 million in one day. <laughs> that's so ridiculous. What was his reasoning for now, now quote, limping in? He's, he's, oh, he's always railed against Twitter. He says how it's against free speech, the, the censorship. All so this what shit. is he doing? He's going to fix it. He's going to muskify it. Muskify He's going to put his musk all over it. Is Twitter going to be Twitter Tesla now? Why not? Tesla Twitter? Are they going to combine Twistler. forces and be Twistler? Twistler's mother. Are they going to f- <laughs> Are they going to combine forces and be one stock? Yeah. At some point? No. Probably not. Elon's got stocks and companies all over the planet. Yes. All over that's the what place. You do with, that's what you do when you own fucking But Tesla. imagine being able to just buy 10% of a massive company like that and making $800 million in a day because the price went up 30% based on the fact that you bought that much of it. Yeah. Just by buying it. Nothing changed. He just bought 10%. It went up 30%. It's insane. What is that? It doesn't make any sense. What is that? He's one of one. He's one of two, really. He's a singularity. There's only one other person in the world who could probably do something like that. Who? It's Jeff Bezos, but he wouldn't want to do it. I thought you were going to say uh, Jeff uh, Logan Paul. Yeah, I don't think Logan Paul is quite at the stature of Elon Musk, but if he ever gets there, I'll be the first to assassinate him. I'll tell you that right now. Speaking of Logan Paul, yes. did you see him at WrestleMania? I did. Wow. What a schmuck. You know what? I think he found his niche. He's absolutely the perfect wrestler. I, I think he found his groove. He's absolutely the this perfect wrestler. This is it. This is why I love to hate him. Yes. Yeah. Because you're, you're allowed, like, you're allowed to hate him. Yeah. They pay him for you to hate him. Right. Hate the shit out of him. Hate him. He's the worst. But, like, he had legit moves. Yeah. He He's... did this crazy suplex thing. He just, like, suplexed the guy, held on, rolled over, suplexed again, rolled over, suplexed again. It was insane. Yeah, he's got it. It was wild. He did the old the old seventy suplexes to make people look think that you're strong and shit. Kind of like really, it's all the other guy jumping up. Like Brock Lesnar. Yeah, Brock Lesnar loves yeah. a good suplex loves, city. Like, Brock Lesnar, dude, when he would just launch those guys across the ring. The moment Brock <laughs> Lesnar came insane. out onto the fucking stage, he was dripping in sweat. I know they squirt you, He's but nobody drips like that man. He's, He's got a giant sword in the middle of his fucking chest. What is that? Yeah. What is that? It's Even insane. Conan the Barbarian didn't have a sword in the middle of his fucking chest. Did you see Brock Lesnar live ever? No. Oh, dude, I went we saw I think an episode of a taping of SmackDown at the the Citizen Business Bank oh. Arena in Ontario, California. Nice, lovely. And uh there was rumors, there was rumors Brock was going to show up. It was this little dinky arena, and we had like nosebleed seats. We're all the way at the top, and like towards the end of the taping, like we're getting antsy. We're like, should we go? Should we get to the car before the traffic? Yeah, sure. And then the fucking music hits, and Brock Lesnar comes out. And dude, we're at the top of the arena, and this guy looks like he's twenty feet away. He is massive. massive. Yeah, he's a big dude. He was dude. so big. He's a big he was dude. So big. 
He's a big dude. Oh my god! These wrestlers are large humans. Hey, uh, it's not legal. It shouldn't be legal. It probably isn't, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> it most likely isn't. No, you're right. You don't. You don't get. Here's the thing huh. that that I think everybody everybody has a has a massive lie going on in the universe. They see a giant man and they think, "Oh wow, huh. that's amazing. Good for him. Huh. How the hell did he do that? You know how he did that? By fucking steroids, steroids, PDs, testosterone, needles right up those of nuts. It. No, but you could work out till the fucking <laughs> cows come home. You will never be that big without fucking sticking yourself with a bunch of shit, dude. The Rock." I don't mean. I don't. I don't know. Your arms don't Dwayne. become bigger than the rest of your body if you can. If you're not taking shit. Your calves are bigger than my stomach, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yes. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> this. They are bigger than this. They are. They're huge. They are. And veiny. Yes, very veiny. Oh. It always amazes me when when the veins start to pop too, and they never leave. <clears throat> Wild stuff. Wild stuff. But anyway, huh. good for Elon Musk. Wow. Uh, another one in the books, dear friend. Dude, this was uh, a little rough getting back in the groove, I gotta say. Well, who knows how to be a human after four days of drinking? Yeah. Uh, it's been nice to be back. It's been nice to slowly get back into a schedule. Yeah. Be Get back in the old routine. If I never have to party with you ever again, it's too soon. I think we're done. I think that's Forever? it. Potentially. Until my bachelor party. Until your bachelor Which party. Which I have given up on. So So we're done. So we can do a give up party at some point. We'll do it right now. Okay. I'm done. I give up. Alright, good night. Good luck. Good evening. Good day. Good morning.